In the earlier session, we have seen about the parallel in parallel out shift register and also about the universal shift register. So, now in this class, we will be seeing about the applications of shift register. So, if you could see, so you have four types of uh, registers, right? Whenever I am going to consider the serial in serial out register, mainly it will be used for the delay purpose. Whenever I want to introduce a delay in the digital circuit, then I can use the serial in serial out shift register where it is going to introduce a time delay of del t which is nothing but n into 1 by fc. What is n? n represents the number of flip flops or the number of stages and fc represents the clock frequency. So, if I am going to decrease the clock frequency, I can increase my del t. Okay. And if I increase the number of uh, flip flops also, then the propagation delay will be there and ultimately your del t that is the time delay will get increased. Now, moving on to the second one. So, once first thing is it is able to introduce a time delay in the circuit. The second thing, the shift registers can be used for the serial to parallel conversion. If I want to enter the data serially and I want to send the data parallelly out, I can use your serial in parallel out shift register. Now, the next case is if I want to enter the data parallelly and send out serially, then for the parallel to the serial conversion, this PISO will be a good tool. Now, the next thing is you can also use it as a shift register counters. Okay, when I say it as a shift register counter, suppose you say in computer, like the it, uh, the data has to be circulated for some 4 clock pulses or 8 clock pulses, in that case you can go in for the ring counter or the Johnson counter. First we will see the working of your ring counter. So, here what I have done as far as the construction is concerned, so I have just drawn 4 flip flops and the output of the flip flop is going to be fed as the input and it is going to circulate and I am going to take the output and I have given the clock pulses for all. So, in this case from the name itself it is evident, suppose if I am going to give a data 1, so that data 1 after every clock pulse it is going to be shifted and then it is going to rotate. So, depending upon the application required. So, this data is going to be just circulating. So, for shift registering for circulating counter, this ring counter would be essential. Okay. Now, we will move on to the Johnson counter. Here, when you see the circuit wise, what is the difference? Here, D0, D1, D2, 3, it is also circulating, but what we are going to do, you are going to give it at a not get that is, instead of giving it Q3, I am taking it from Q3 bar and I am giving it. Why? Because in this ring counter, if at all by any interference, if 1 1 appears, then that 1 1 will be continuing forever. Whereas, whenever you are going to go in for your Johnson counter, it is also called a self correctable counter. Or it is called as a switch tail, switch tail ring counter. Okay, it is going to switch the tail that means, so step by step it is going to go. Suppose if I am going to input the 1 here, all the values are going to be 0. For example, first 1 is going to get inputted, then what will happen? Now this will be 0 and this will be 1. So now this will input the 0 and that data will be shifted now. So now this 1 will be shifted here and this 0 will be shifted here. So, it does in a proper sequence just by connecting it to the complement of it. So, I have just given the circuit as it is from the Q3 bar it is going to be connected back. So, whenever I am going to give the first clock pulse the first data is going to be entered. So, all the other inputs are going to be 0. When this is going to be 0 it is going to be 1. So, this 1 comes in. So, in the next thing what will happen this 1 1 will be shifting in. So, like this all the 1's will be shifted. Okay, and this process will continue. So, it is called as a switch tail ring counter or your self correctable counter because every state this 0 will change to 1 and this 1 will come here and this 1 will propagate here. So, 1 by 1 it is able to shift the 1 in a, in a circulating manner. So, this can be used whenever I want to circulate the 1 pulses in the computer. Suppose for 8 clock pulses the 1 has to circulate. Okay. So, with this the applications of the shift register ends. So, in the next class we will be seeing about the counters. Thank you.